Hey guys, today I am back with an interesting video. Here I found the best G cam that you have ever seen. So let's start the video. So it's Hypercam version 7.4. I know it's old version, but it doesn't work. make any difference. Let me tell you what's the procedure that you have to follow to install this G cam. First, you have to install the Activity Launcher from the Play Store, and second, I have share you the link of this gcam port in the description box from here you can download first let me remove this now you have to install this in gcam and don't open it it's my humble request first go to activity launcher and let it scan type camera and here you can see this camera and now select settings from here you can enable lip patcher it increases the quality of picture can enable hdr you can go up to 30 frames it works and put device model here you can enable interface style i want valley so i can select interface style is valley input model i have selected pixel 4 and don't use front camera it doesn't works and select tone curve if you want to use tone curve you can use gamma curve you can you want you can use but it doesn't good word Here you is the main thing that you have to do. A W D in white balance back camera. So I have enabled a Sony I M X six eight nine mod. Don't use front camera. Actually, front camera doesn't works. A W in ox lenses. It doesn't works. It just shift to telephoto lens. And here is exposure compensation. Here you have to want to use. You can enable not to not enable. Auxiliary camera. I already told in previous section that it doesn't works. You have to select this lens preset mode. When you open this G cam by shortcut, you have to select main. Then it will boot into main lens. Okay. Save portraits in DCIM camera. From here, it creates a folder of DCIM, and in that folder, it saves the portrait. You DCPI three color space. You can enable it. Disable portrait mode. You already know that uh, when you, you switch to portrait mode, it gets 1.5x zoom. You can enable max digital zoom. You can enable 20x up to. And one thing I want to tell you: this G cam can go up to 12x of zoom very clearly. More options are fixed. You can enable camera photo resolution. I have selected to full resolution, JPG quality, according to your mood. Uh, here is the main important thing use a third party gallery it is good when you just suppose that i have clicked this photo and i want to go from here and see the photo it doesn't work if you not enable this if you enable this it works you can enable my maximum screen brightness when you are clicking a photos don't use this i don't know what this is but it creates most of the files and we don't like that here you can enable save location when you click a photo Zia control is necessary. You can also enable grid type. I use three by three. You can enable show dirty lens warning, raw JPG control, and Google lens suggestion. Don't use this framing hints. You can enable. And here from you can this doesn't works. Okay, so don't enable this. Chain log you can what has been modified. You can see this, but don't very much good at all. Hyper cam. Yeah, I have already so it in first of the starting of the videos, and get back to it. Now, what do you have to do? Click on the camera. Com dot android dot camera deep link activity, and select this, and it goes to camera section. Okay, from here you can see this camera activity. You have to just do this. Touch it and hold for a few seconds, and from here create shortcut. And it will add automatically a shortcut to it. If you suppose that uh, you have to want to open the camera, and if you want from there, it doesn't work. But if you select this, and if you select this, that uh, the camera is working. And I will show you the photo samples that I have clicked from this G cam, and it is taking HDR enhanced photo, and it's. main processing hdr plus cam photo so we have to wait for it and let it complete it completed 
and you can see this and from here actually we I have enabled raw photo and you can also shoot in draw and let me it zoom focuses and select shutter from here you can see this the it is processing HDR plus photo and let it complete you can see this what's the quality and it takes in 12 megapixel and it's good here you can enable tone curve and gamma curve but according to your use I don't tell you anything that uh, you have to use this but if you enable this I don't think too much effect has been given to this mo camera photos uh, let it focus and focused and from here let it be processed if you want to take HDR plus you can enable HDR plus but I don't think that it's necessary to take HDR plus every time and here you can see this the quality of photo you can color it according to your mood what do you want you can also in a go to white crop portrait according to your use you can enable space enhancing and everything and if I just disable HDR the photos were let it focus and here it is still processing the photo but taking time you can see here the quality of photo it is giving and it all takes 12 megapixel so you must have to create a shortcut for it and thanks for watching my videos stay safe and stay at home and please do like subscribe if you like this my content and please share to your family friends thank you bye bye